guys so this has been a very highly requested video a lot of people have been asking me what trade copy do i use how do you set it up how does it work so i'm going to go through it in this video in detail now this is the one that i use personally for xsolutions.com this is the one i started out with and this right here is pretty much their website um in my opinion yeah solid website you know i guess they're trusted by different types of brokers so they do have like the stamp of approval and the first thing i'm going to go before i actually show you guys how the trade copy works is pricing because a lot of people are wondering how much does this cost and stuff like that so i'm assuming a lot of people would rather just have the monthly option so these are the plans that essentially are something that we can take in so the basic plan is just 15 dollars per month this is a total of two accounts so total of two accounts what does this mean it, essentially this is the breakdown here so your signal account that signal account is essentially your main account that you're going to be trading and the follower accounts is how many accounts that you'll have that are going to be sent that the trades from the signal accounts are going to be copied onto this one um, and again those trades are copied 100 and it's also relative based on your balance slash equity and i'm going to get into that once i go show you guys the ins and out of the actual trade copier so they do have a 14 day money back guarantee if you use this basic option now let's just say you wanted an additional follower account right let's say let's just say you have three ftmo accounts for example and you're going to be trading one and you might have two that you want to connect it to every additional account as it says right here is 14 dollars each per account now if you're someone who may have multiple funded programs with different types of um, funding uh, funding programs let's just say you have a my forex fund account and let's just say you have a ftmo account this would be a better option right here the standard account a little bit more pricey 60 dollars a month but you do get two signal accounts so let's just say you know you, you don't want to have different accounts that are linked um with various liquidity provider and servers right like let's just say all your my forex funds accounts you want on one copier and then all the ftmos you want on a different one which you can with this option right here you have the option to have two signal accounts so if you have let's say multiple ftmo accounts multiple my forex funds account you can have an ftmo account as a signal account and then you can have a my forex fund which is also as a signal account and then you have a total of five follower accounts so then you could obviously copy all the trades on the ftmo accounts under the ftmo signal and then you could copy all the follower accounts with my forex funds under that my forex fund signal account so this is just a better option if you have this is like an option i would suggest if you have multiple funded accounts with different funding programs and then obviously like you know if you're, if you're a lot more advanced or you have a lot of accounts that you manage these are some options that you're going to get into but i think most people are generally going to be around the basic or standard plan now i do have an account with them and right here this is how the login looks um you go right here once you sign in and you go to trade replicator so in the trade replicator right you will be prompted to add a signal account so let me show you exactly how this essentially works so let's just say you click right here signal accounts you click this little plus sign right here and it shows, shows add and i'm just going to go ahead and show you guys an example so i'm just going to pull uh nash demo i'm going to show you guys how they, the whole process works from start to finish i'm going to i opened up two demo accounts so i can even show you guys a trade so you guys can kind of see exactly how it works so nash markets demo the login i'm going to cover this right here okay copy paste beautiful save okay and then once this pretty much gets saved you're going to see it pull up right here and you're going to see the connection connecting and then once it's finally connected it'll turn like a dark green and you'll see the equity and you'll see the balance so let's just go to trading accounts let's go back to signals give it some time to update right here in the connection field but essentially once that kind of uh connects what we'll do is we'll click this right here and we'll add a signal so you have to uh put in your signal account first and then it'll populate right here nash demo so you click onto that then you click what broker server you're going to be on so nash demo Okay, I'm gonna put in the login for the second one as well. Okay, and then this is where it's gonna get interesting. So for lot sizing, I pretty much do it proportional by the balance. 
essentially it's going to be the same proportional by balance proportional by equity um i just like to do it by balance because like if i open up a position i want to see i want the, the trades to pretty much be populated accordingly so amount to mirror 100 percent you can obviously adjust this according to your liking and you know there's, there are some advanced features like you know copy open trades draw down only none or um i pretty much just keep my settings like this so i just want my trades to be copied onto the other account proportional by the balance so that way i know that my trades are being you know they're co being uh, copied properly now there are some like other risk management stuff like if you want like a specific drawdown amount or like let's say a stop level in terms of your percentage but again just for what i do i don't really touch any of this so then once you put it in you just click save and we're going to give it a little bit moment here invalid account okay guys so got that situated had to open up another account but nonetheless it's going to show you right here the balance is ten thousand dollars and for the signal account you're going to see right here five thousand so let me actually show you guys how this kind of works and what happens when you execute so the reason why i chose nash i mean because the i've used them in the past as well and you know bitcoin's open right now so i thought it'd be a great example to kind of show you guys how the trade copier works so i'm actually gonna let's say place a one lot position short let's say on this account so as you guys can see i'm gonna put it right in the screen this is the other account that's copied to and you can see that it's pretty much been opened a two lot position on bitcoin right here so what's really good about this is let's say you're someone who's comfortable trading a specific sized account let's just say for a funding program for example using my uh, the way i feel comfortable i'm very comfortable trading a hundred thousand dollar account and because i'm okay with that pnl fluctuation so let's just say i'm not used to trading a two hundred thousand dollar account or let's just say i have a 300 400k account that's linked to it what the trade copier allows me to do is i can trade my 100 account normally and then everything will get copied onto these other accounts so then i don't have to have that psychological um obstacle when that it comes to trying to push on bigger size right because obviously with a bigger account especially if you're trying to pass specific funding programs you're gonna have to push more size that's just you know because there's just more equity so this is just a really good hack in order to kind of try and you know link multiple accounts as an account that you're comfortable with and this can ultimately help you guys pass a lot more challenges and get bigger accounts without having to go through that psychological obstacle of push putting on more size and getting comfortable with that so hope you guys enjoyed the video if you guys aren't please subscribe to the channel and also let me know in the comment section what you guys think of funding programs in general what you guys think of the trade copier overall also if you guys are new to the channel I have a lot of different videos and uploads of where I talk about funding programs, how to go about funding, different withdrawals with different funding programs if you guys are interested in that. So please feel free to go through the channel and watch different videos and let me know what you guys think.